This is the second part of our text file handling question. If you remember in the first part, we had to click on the button and we had to read from a text file which had contained a whole bunch of information about orders and we had to display all the details of a particular order and then display the total. So that's what we did in the previous question. Now we are on to part two of this question. And part two says that when we click on the Q12 uh, button, that we must add the details of the order that we just worked out. So the order number and the total price of that order from question 1.1 to a text file called search history. We can assume that this text file exists. So we know this file exists, search history. As you can see, there's already some orders there. So when we click on this button, the number one must be added. And then the total that we just calculated must be added. Um, so that's what we must do. So let's have a look at what we're going to do. Let's go look at our files here. So there, here's the orders that we worked with in the previous question. So we would have gone through here and worked out the total for order one. So we would have totaled all those prices with the quantities. We did that in question one. Now we've got the search history, which as you can see, it has the order number followed by how much that order number's total was. Now, it's based on question 1.1. Now the little tricky part here is in question 1.1, we did all this calculation and then we displayed the total over here. But if I want to use it in this question, in 1.2, I need to be able to access that value, the total from the previous order. Okay, I also need to know which order that they selected. So both the order that the user has asked for as well as the total need to be used in this button, which means they cannot be declared locally. They need to be declared globally. So I'm going to make my R total into, and my R choice, what the user specifies, as global variables, okay, global variables, so that I can use them in both the buttons. So I'm gonna take our choice away from here. If we don't take it away from here, then it will in this button only use the local variable and not store it in the global variable. And let's take away our total. So now our total, our choice, they still will work and they've just been declared globally, which means when our choice is assigned a value, it'll still have the same value. When our total is calculated, it will still be the same value. The only difference now is when I click on this button, I will have access to the values from the previous time that that button was clicked. So basically when I click on this button, it will calculate our total and give me a value for our choice. Now in this button, I can use those to add to the text file. So what are, what are the steps to add into a text file? Well, first of all, you need to assign file, well, actually before that, we actually need to declare a text file variable. So let's call this one, instead of F, let's call it G of type text file and I'm going to make an S line you don't have to but I'm going to make it I'm going to construct my string of what I want to put in there and then I will just put that into the text file so I'm going to make a string over there so first thing we need to do is we need to assign our text file variable which is G in this case we need to assign it to this one that search history search history dot txt let's make sure that we've spelled that all correctly I think that's all correct. So now from this point on, we do not need to use um, the search history name. We can just use our text file called G. Now, because we know the text file exists, we do not need to create it. If, if we had to create it, we would have to rewrite G. That would be if we want to recreate it, or if it was created, we want to scrap everything that's in it, we would use rewrite G. But we have been told we can assume that the search history file exists. We are just simply adding onto it. We are then appending the text file. We are putting it into append mode, which means the pointer will go to the bottom over here. It'll move it to there so that it's ready to get a new value. So that's what a pen will do. It won't do anything to the text file with regard to remove anything. It'll just open it so that stuff can be added onto it. Now we can write line to G whatever we want to write over here. So before I do that, I'm just going to construct S line. I'm going to make it equal to what I want it to be, which if you can see from the question, it's the order number followed by a tab followed by 
the total in a currency format. So I'm going to say S line is equal to R choice plus a hash nine plus the total. But remember, we want this as a string. So this whole thing must be a string. So this must be converted to a string. So this is going to be from int to string. So convert our choice to that. And then our, our total, we want to convert it to some sort of currency. So I'm going to make it a float to string f and use ff currency comma eight comma two so there we go so there are three strings that we're adding together to construct our s line so now when we write line to g we can write line s line we could easily have just put this whole thing here in here but you can i like constructing the string so i know exactly what's going in so there we go. So we've write line, which means we have added a new line to the text file. If we wanted to, we could write line more, but this is all what we want to do. And the last step, which is very important with text files, especially writing to text files, you must close the text file. So there we go. So therefore, it will close the text file. And so we first assign it, we append it, we add to it what we want, and then we can close off the connection with it. Let's see if it works. Remember, for this to work, we first need to click on the first button. So I'm going to do that first. I'm going to click over here. I'm going to choose order one. And you'll see that order one has um, the total over there. And now I'm actually going to come over here and just close this. I don't want there to be any problems when I write to it. So let's go back to our question. Let's add to the text file. So we're going to add that order one. I'm going to click on it. It says data was added because there was a little show message at the end. So let's close it. Let's go see what was in that search history text file. So there's search history. Open it. Ah, there you can see that order one has been added. So there's no order two. So let's try it one more time with order two. So let's run it again. Run it again. So let's run it with order two this time. Order two. So that's the total for order two, and we will add that to the list. It was added, so let's close it. And our search history now has order two added to the search history of orders. So there we go, that's how you write to a text file. Key was to assign the file to append, which means we are going to add on to it. If we wanted to create the text file from scratch, we would use rewrite. Then I create my string that I'm going to add. You can add multiple strings, as many as you want. But when you are finished, you must always close the file. And always give some feedback at the end. It's normally a good idea. So this is question two of the text file example.